this Flash and Action Script 3 lesson geared for CS3 and CS4, we're teaching you how to create cool custom animated mouse cursors. Those are custom cursors that you can have in your Flash applications when the mouse user is over it. And when it leaves, they get their normal cursor back. When it comes back, there's your custom cursor. And I'll show you how to put cool animated effects on it, that pulsating effect there. Okay, here we are at the Develop PHP forums in the Flash CS3 and ActionScript 3 section. And we have a member who writes, I'm creating a website, and what I want to do is when someone visits the website, I want their cursor to change into my custom design cursor. All works fine until I move the cursor off the website, i.e. onto Firefox toolbar. My custom cursor stays on the stage and does not vanish. So, and he supplied his script. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a little tiny script that will help you uh, get the cursor to vanish once it leaves the Flash stage. Okay, so first thing is we'll go into Flash. I'm in CS3. You can be working in CS4 and this Action Script 3 that I'm going to write will work all the same for you. So what we'll do is let's make this a little smaller and you can have your stage size set any size you need it. I'm just going to make mine a little less high. Maybe 320. Okie dokie. Now let's make that background black just for my preferences and now let's go into fireworks and grab my custom pointer now you can design your custom pointer in any Adobe software that's made for graphics you can even do it in flash uh, but I just wanted to make mine in fireworks because I like the the way fireworks graphics come out so I'm gonna press C control C and by the way this is a bitmap flattened. Press control C and go into flash press control V. So what it will do is import it directly onto stage copy and paste style as movie clip. OK. And now we'll give that movie clip an instance name of my cursor cursor underscore MC my cursor underscore MC and now let's create a new layer above that layer one. Let's call this new layer AS3. For Action Script 3, let's call this cursor. Okay. <clears throat> now we have an instance name on our little movie clip cursor there. And let's open the actions panel by pressing F9. That way we can type in some code that will affect this movie clip. Okay, here we are in our actions panel and the first thing we want to do is add two event listeners to the stage we're going to be listening for mouse move and mouse leave so we'll say uh, stage add event listener this is first one is mouse event dot mouse move so anytime the mouse moves, this is what this event listener is listening for. And it's going to react by firing off this function called redraw cursor. If I can spell it right. Redraw cursor. So anytime the mouse moves, it's going to fire off a function called redraw cursor. Now let's just grab that whole line for a second event listener. And that's going to be targeting the stage as well. Event listener for the event of, and it's not a mouse event, it's going to be a stage event, really. And then uh, it's going to be mouse leave. So anytime the mouse leaves the stage, this function is going to fire off. And we're going to name it hide cursor. Now the next line down we're going to hide their default white mouse pointer by doing that. And now let's write the function in the first one, redraw cursor. Function redraw cursor void 
open curly brace, close curly brace, and there's our function nest. And inside, this is a mouse event, so we'll type in event colon mouse event. There we go. And the next function nest, let's just go ahead and set that up, is going to be event colon event hide cursor. So there we go. Now we have our two functions set up and ready to go to fire off anytime the mouse moves on stage or anytime the mouse leaves the the uh the flash stage. So you put your code that you want to ha that whatever you want to happen on those events, you put your code right here. And we'll do that now. Okay, so the first thing that we want to happen is on the hide cursor we want to say my cursor underscore MC which is the instance name we gave the cursor dot visible equals false and that will effectively hide it when it leaves the stage which addresses the forum question that our member asked and uh, here in the redraw cursor we want to make sure it's always true always visible so in this function mouse move it's always visible in this function mouse leave it's always going to disappear now in the mouse move in the redraw cursor function we have to make sure that the little movie clip on stage here is always going to be where the mouse pointer should be and that's very easy to do with two lines of code let's take uh, this instance name my cursor dot x position this is its x position on stage is going to be equal to the event dot stage x and that's it now the next line is very similar this is going to be stage y that way it just follows where their mouse is going like it should and I think if we test at this point we should have a working application so let's press control enter and there we have it you see when my mouse leaves the stage the mouse cursor the custom cursor disappears like it should and my little black pointer comes back for use in my other applications okay so let's see you see how it's kind of jagged you want to raise your frame rate make sure your frame rate's not so low or everything will be jagged all of your animations will be uh, a seem, will seem choppy so now you can see how it's much smoother now with a higher frame rate and you can also do other cool things like make it have a pulsating glow or something like that easily and you can have this anywhere on stage and off stage. You can set it off stage if you want, and it will still work the same. You see, it just follows the mouse, the pointer. So if you double click inside of this, you convert this to a movie clip. Let's call it Inner Cursor Clip. Okay. Now, now that this is a movie clip, we can, in this timeline we can give it a little pulsating glow. Let's go 10 frames, not even, maybe 8 frames and then to 16, hit F6 again. So I hit F6 twice there to make new keyframes. And it looks like this needs to come back one. There we go. Now, in between here we're going to create motion tween create motion tween in the center let's click this highlight that keyframe click the object and go to filters add a filter of glow let's make it glow white nice and strong blur it out to about I don't know, 13. Let's bring it over here so we can see it better. That's too much. Too strong. There we go. Right about there. 
now you can see that oh I didn't want to make that move what position is that that is zero let's put this back to zero there we go there's all kind of animations you can set inside of this so now let's press control enter and now you'll see it has a pulsating effect now the mouse and it moves anywhere you go on stage and when you leave stage it it uh, disappears when you come back it reappears follows the mouse it's exactly what you want okay we hope you enjoy this one and we'll see you next lesson